Ben here, and welcome to another video. Recently, I went to an Age of Sigmar doubles tournament at Warhammer World, and I only bought my army three days before the event, but nonetheless I managed to paint a thousand points of Fire Slayers in just 16 hours. When I tell people this, they say, yes Ben, we know, you keep telling us about it, but some people say, oh wow, how did you do that? And for those four people, I've put together this video to show you the techniques I used to smash out a thousand points of Fire Slayers as quick as I could. Now remember, the goal is to get an army painted and on the board ASAP, so you might not be winning any best painted trophies, but I do think as a whole, they don't look too bad, and it's always nice to have a fully painted force on the board. Plus, maybe you'll learn something from this video, or or maybe you won't. I mean, I don't know what you do or don't know. I can't read minds. Anyway, today I'll show you how to speed paint some Fire Slayers. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is Retributorama, Lead Belcher, Gullum and Blue, Reichland Flesh Shade, Fugan Orange, Nuln Oil and a White Undercoat and also maybe a litany to the gods of painting. First part is to paint all the parts of the miniature gold that you want gold. I'm painting this bit here at the top of the helmet. What you'll also need to do is make sure you get all of the runes in the flesh and paint those gold as well. It's very important to do those first before we do anything on the flesh tones mainly because as we apply the wash over the top it's also going to wash our golds so we're kind of helping ourselves out a little bit there by doing those early and with the gold applied to all the areas that you want to be painted gold. We're just going to move on to the lead voucher and do the same with all the areas that you want painted silver. And now with the silver applied to all the areas we wanted silver, it's time to do the loincloths and other areas that won't be gold, silver or flesh. Um, I've chosen to use Gullum and Blue, mainly because I wanted those areas blue, but you can choose whatever colour you want, really. There's no right or wrong re reason. And all you've got to do is just place it on, colour that area. Now, Gullum and Blue is a glaze. You could use a blue wash if you wanted. This is just what I had on hand, and it works just fine for what I had in mind and what I wanted to achieve. Again, this is about getting colours on the miniature as quick as possible. All right, that's the Gulliman Blue Glaze applied to everywhere we wanted to go blue. And now comes the real fun part that really starts to pull this miniature together and really is the last two steps. So you need to just take your Fugan Orange and just spread it on the hair and the beard. Try and be a little neat on this because you don't really want it going over areas that are gonna be flesh. But if there's a little bit of crossover, it doesn't matter too much because the Reichlin Flesh Shade and the Fugan Orange are not too dissimilar from each other. As I say, it's nice and easy, you throw it on like that. And due to the natural properties of the shade paints, it just seeps into the recesses, but also acts as a bit of a glaze and stains the paint, which is why it's key that you need a white undercoat on these. And now that they're done, we're gonna move on to the Rikon Flesh Shade, finish off the last of the gold and the flesh. And yeah, should be good. And this is the best bit, because it's just gonna go all over all the gold and the flesh, and it really ties that miniature together. It really makes it pop and stand out as a little hairy ginger man who's angry and out for his gold. And the final stage is just to apply some Nuln Oil to the lead belcher parts that we painted earlier. And 
And that's him basically painted. All you need to do now is let all the washes dry and then you can get on with your basing. How you base them is entirely up to you. I've gone for a volcanic base, nice and easy. Just slapped on some black textured paint. I've obviously only showed you on one miniature, but it can easily be applied to a speed painting process. It looks okay, I think, when they're all together on the table. It's quite a nice and therapeutic way to paint fire slayers as well. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you've learned anything, or if you have any tips for me, because I'm not perfect at painting. But that was my way of kind of getting fire slayers sorted. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.